Hey guys, welcome back to another replay. This is Fasu underscore FB. We call him Fuck You, but this is a member of the clan Abel, or at the time he was in the clan Abel. And this is Mother Russia's favorite, the IS-6. Premium tank, very good at grinding credits, shitty penetration, but you can make do with it with the new armor that's been incorporated to the tank after the HD remodel. And I quite enjoy this vehicle. It's definitely uh, definitely one of the premiums that I, I don't mind playing. I'm not much into playing premiums all that much, but this one is very enjoyable to play. It's just workable. So, Alright, had to fast forward. Can't watch heavy tank drive for hours. This is the first shot, unfortunately. Should have aimed a little more and taken a shot at that VK, but it looks like the VK is a generous person and wants to sit there for him to be able to reload. So thank you, VK. It was nice of you. There's a tank you don't see very often, the Panther M10. And, well, he's just going to keep chilling there. So there goes the VKH, and there's one kill down for, the, for Fasu already. And he's going to have incredible shots on the sides here. <laughs> this is like... This is what I dream of in this map, when you have a shitload of heavy tanks go in this direction and you're just in a really decent heavy tank of your own. And you can just work. Go to work. He's gonna try to get a shot in on that in on that M10, which M10 doesn't feel like he's gonna move. So I'm just surprised. Fasu has yet to been punished by anything. Well, as I say that. Black Prince. So he hasn't repaired his ammo rack. That or he has. I think he might have repaired it, but the uh, I don't think the replay is showing that he did. As that is definitely not a 20 second reload. So, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, very nice shot into the T uh, T34 there. <clears throat> now, with my luck, that would have just tracked him. Somehow bounces the T-34 with all his penetration, but okay. Hey, it's Skinny. Welcome to the to the uh, replay preview, Skinny. I don't expect people to usually join these. So I'm not. I'm curious to where that Black Prince hit him to damage his radio, but not do any damage to him. I've never seen that happen before in this tank. So, you know, just casual finish off the Black Prince there. Unfortunate he didn't uh, actually kill him in that shot. My cats are really pissing me off. Now, he's already up to 3.3k damage with three kills of his own. Wow. And I'd like to see... I actually haven't watched this replay yet, so I'd like to see uh, where this goes. And this M10 is just not getting away. There's no way. <laughs> Four kills on a roll. Let's see what he can do. Very nice shot. Fortunately, the T25 does get a shot into him, but he's still very healthy, as I say that. Auto-aim for the win. Just needs one more for the, uh, one more for the top gun, and that side of the flank is completely gone. Now, I haven't seen artillery shoot at all yet. I mean, at the heavies anyway. So, 
I'm curious if the player might be AFK or what's going on with him. But uh, Fasu goes ahead and he starts going back to the base to defend it because there is, well, could be three tanks going to the base. Could be a very quick fast cap if he does not go back to defend. The <clears throat> Super Pershing is indicating that M12 is over there, so maybe he was hit by it. I don't know. Maybe the T71 spotted him over there. Is not actually up this way. So, I see he's got a chance at a butt shot here. Very nice. Hey, Definitely having better RNG than me with uh, with this tank. As I say that, rip. Yep, there's the. Oh, okay, the M12 is over there. So, I'm sure the Super Pershing should be able to handle that, no problem. That's a difficult position to get a 110 out of. That sucks. You have to rely on his allies to help him out a little bit. And it looks like he's going to flank around, considering they cannot cap while there are two tanks guarding the base. So it looks hey, like. Oh, T71 probably just spotted them here. That would not be good if that T71 starts circling him. Definitely wouldn't be good. I'm very curious to where he is though. He hasn't been spotted in a long time. 8.8. Knows that he's trying to flank, so... Looks like... Oh, <laughs> here we go. He's giving up his side. I love when 8.8s go out their sides. It's just like hitting a barn. That and their ammo rack is still right in the very middle of their tank. Right in the middle, top part of the superstructure. Very easy to, uh, very easy to ammo rack them. Right in between those two top bumps. It didn't look like that shell actually hit him, so. Good job. 5,500 damage and a top gun. Now, will he survive this battle to get extra, extra dankness points? Got my eye. Does not want to uh, miss the shot with this 110. E. I'm actually surprised he was able to penetrate that with. Okay, I, can, I can't tell if it was standard AP or not. Now, do you guys hear that annoying sound? That is the newest bug in patch 9.15 something. I don't know what it is. Now, this guy might be on his side because he's not moving. But, uh, yeah, whenever a fire alarm, or he's not, whenever a fire goes off, uh, and you're watching that person, you hear the beeping for the rest of the entire replay. Or, or in-game, even. So, that was Fasu. Let's look at his, uh, post-game stats here. He ends up getting spotter. Well, we'll check how much he's, he assists, or assistance. Only a thousand, so that's fine. But, uh, gets these, uh, cool-headed... Steel wall, high caliber, and the top gun. You put a lot of damage out on these people. I've, I mean, highest damage I have in my IS6, I think 4,500 or something. But he does 5,934 damage with six kills and a base experience of 1,760, which is pretty crazy. Now that's a pretty decent game for him. Now, had he had a premium count, he would have made a shitload of credits here. Like, that's nuts. Uh, he ended up blocking 2,100 damage, so he was very effective with his armor as well. That's a very, very good way of playing your tank, is knowing how to angle yourself. You'll live longer, do better, get a shitload of experience. So, that was Fasu. If you guys enjoyed the replay, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. And uh, if you want to submit a replay, then just uh, enter the, the link to the replay in the comment section below, and I'll have a look at it. Thanks for watching, guys.